This is David with TechNewsZone.com. We have been testing the uh, Trinus 3D from Kadama, uh, which is an awesome little printer. Now that we have it calibrated, it's doing a lovely job. We're using blue painter's tape because for some reason I it's dry here, so it wasn't sticking as well as it could. With the blue painter's tape on the heated bed, that's not heated because the heated bed is being weird, uh, but it's printing beautifully uh, with, this is protopasta coffee pasta, coffee filament, that protopasta coffee filament uh, on the Kodama. Um, with our uh, Thingiverse uh, filament holder. That's like the best filament holder I've seen for this one. And we, uh, we use a PVC pipe with little caps on the end, so it pretty much holds any filament on there, even large filaments. You can see if you put a giant one on there. Uh, and it, I use a little super glue to reinforce, uh, or super glue to reinforce it, it on top to uh, make sure it's more steady uh, to hold it up. But other than that, it's doing a great job. It's a little loud once in a while, but not super loud. Uh, but it, it's doing a, a Yoda and coffee filament. And 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 we, we have the heated bed, we have the LED screen. Uh, we we're going to get the enclosure eventually, and maybe the laser. But so far we're pretty impressed by it. And it's doing a good job. I also did these little uh, objects there. A shout out to HP for giving us this HP Spectre 360, 15 inch, 16 gigs of RAM. One uh, i7 Intel i7 to do our printing with. And with this uh, laptop, and the Trinus or other printers we're using, which we're going to do some more educational events now that we have the right equipment. Uh, and Dremel, because Dremel, we're going to be working with Dremel and Dremel 3D as well. So we, that's our one of our main educational partners, NHP. And we're working with Trinus, and we're going to be doing some other betaing for a few other places this summer. But our main printer for education is the Dremel, and then the Trinus is nice and small, so we'll take that one along too. But it does an awesome job. And we are using Simplify 3D since Simplify gave us a free license, uh, two free licenses of Simplify with our um, uh, Hashbox 360. We're going to try to use it with the Trinus 3D. Uh, and then uh, if any other printers this summer to test and review, we'll use Simplify as well if they work with it. And then we're also using with the, pro, um, the Dremel using the uh, AutoCAD uh, software to print, which is also amazing. I love their. Uh, support so we're pretty happy with all that's going on with our intent to help with education we're doing a lot of reviews we have a lot of good equipment now so we should be rocking pretty well this year and we appreciate it but this is focused more on the trinus and the trinus is an awesome little printer it's nice and small easy to take with and it's made of metal so it's really solid we printed uh, these two little fellers the little buddha on the left and the owl on the right and the uh, polymaker smooth and the little one in the middle i printed at a medium resolution uh, you can tell it's not quite as smooth as the other one, uh, but that one's printed in a polymaker, like a teal. Um, we're going to try the polymaker wood later, uh, but right now we're printing the Yoda, uh, as you can see on here, it's uh, about 16% done. you got to love this little screen, it's cool. Uh, and it, um, it's printing um, at about 200 degrees, the protopasta coffee at 100%, and it's printing the Yoda. So far it's doing an awesome job. I like how um, Pango does these hexagonal supports are a little interesting. I mean, I like Simplifies, they're really awesome. I like AutoCAD, they're really awesome. But for uh, an affordable printer and affordable free software that comes with it, I'm really impressed with the Trinus. So, so far, so good. Uh, this is Dave Berkowitz with TechNewsZone.com. Tech for Autism, we're also Makers for Autism. Uh, but we're TechNewsZone.com and iTechNewsZone on Twitter. Uh, but it's David with TechNewsZone.com signing off. Thank you, and have a good night.